Hello friends, I am here with a new video and in this video I will show you how you could fix the Seiki cursor issue in your laptop. This issue has been observed in new series of laptop which is having clickpad installed in it. Yes, clickpad is an advanced version of touchpad. Let me just tell you uh, why Seiki cursor issue is happening. In general term, few users might have noticed this when they are connecting charger input to the laptop. So at that point of time, they might have experienced the Seiki cursor or Seiki pointer issue in their laptop. And at the same time, when charger is removed, it works fine. Let me tell you why this is happening actually. So this is happening because the clickpad PCB is not connected properly with ground. Yes, laptop or any other electronics equipment have a common ground via which the leakage current got drained out as it could affect the performance of the equipment. So I have opened up my laptop and this is a click from my laptop. So I have focused on the click pad area. So if you could see here, this is a metallic chassis and uh, this, this part is also the metallic chassis. So if you could see here properly, there is a metallic strip connected from metallic chassis to the click pads PCB. So this whole area is the common ground uh, of click pad PCB from where this metallic strip is connected to the uh, chassis, metallic chassis of the laptop. So this metallic chassis of the laptop is working as a common ground for all the PCBs and motherboard in the laptop. So uh, what I will do, I will do a continuity check using a multimeter, uh, putting one probe of the multimeter on uh, this metallic area, I mean the metallic chassis. And the another probe I will put anywhere within this rectangular area, not on this strip part. So uh, this is just a continuity check. So if you are knowing this part, if you know how to do a continuity check, uh, it's good. But uh, just for your information, if there is a connection uh, from uh, metallic chassis to this PCB, then it will give a beep. Otherwise, it will not give a beep. I mean, if a current will be flowing from this area to this area, then it will give a beep. Otherwise, it will not give a beep. So if it is not giving a beep, it means there is a break. Uh, I mean, the connectivity is not proper. So let's come to the experimental part. Let's do the continuity check. So you can see the position of probe. Here it is beeping. So it is still beeping and till metallic strip it is beeping, but in the rectangular area, it is not beeping. It means there is a connectivity problem. So somewhere the metallic strip got unsoldered. That's why it is not beeping. So I think there is some connectivity problem uh, between the metallic strip and the click pad PCB. So as you can see, it is not beeping uh, from click pad rectangular area to the metallic strip. Here I am scratching the particular metallic area to do the fresh soldering so that it can hold uh, the soldering properly. Uh, what I will do, I will, uh, I'm planning to do soldering on both the end of the metallic strip to make a sure shot connection between the body chassis and the PCB. So I'm scratching the other part of the uh, metallic strip and the body chassis. Uh, post scratching, I will proceed with a soldering. So here it is. Uh, let me just make it fast forward to save the time. So soldering part is completed. Now time to do the continuity check once again. So I will just put a probe on the body, anywhere on the body and another probe within that rectangular box on the click pad PCB. So you can hear this beep sound clearly. So now even though if I'm touching any part of the body, so it is giving the beep sound. So the connectivity is proper now. So any of the uh, extra current, I mean the ground current will get uh, properly grounded to the body. I mean the common ground. 
So I'm just putting a bit of soldering over here. I'm feeling that the connectivity is still not proper. It might get uh, desoldered. So that's why I'm making it sure uh, so that the connectivity between the body and the metallic strip would be proper. Uh, this uh, body is made up of something, uh, I mean, alloy type of things. Uh, it's the mixture of aluminum and some other metal due to which the soldering element is not holding it properly. So that's why I did a, a scratch once again. And now I guess it is proper. Yeah, it is proper now. Uh, so uh, let me just test it once again, the continuity check. Yeah, and it is working like a winning horse from anywhere in the body. You can see, uh, you can see I'm touching one probe anywhere in the chassis and it is beeping properly. Uh, it means the connectivity is proper. So that's it friends. So this is how you can fix the uh, Seiki pointer or a cursor in your laptop. Hope you like this video. If you feel this video is informational and knowledgeable, please do like this video, share this video as much as you can and subscribe my channel for the latest updates and do press the bell icon for quick notification. See you in the next video. Bye bye.